very very exciting things to talk about uh, as I come to you today please stay tuned and do not move I will be right back Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I always consider it a privilege to come to you with updates, updates on this revolution, the war that was brought upon us by French Cameroon Paul Beer. I want to believe that you all had a wonderful, wonderful, exciting weekend out there, especially uh, those of you from Ngo Ketunja. Ngo Ketunjia, who did a marvelous, marvelous job yesterday at uh, Ngo Ketunjia War Drive. I'm going to come to that. But also, I want to believe that for you, those of you in Ground Zero, I know things are tough, the ground is difficult, and La Republic du Cameroon continues to come against all of you. But I want to believe that in spite of that, you protected yourself, you stayed home, you stayed away from the corona, and uh, you had fun with family. Uh, apart from the places that we learn are under attack, like in Bamenda, in Bafut, in the Kumbo, and uh, other communities, and uh, other communities we learn were attacked by French Cameroon forces. We also want to believe that all of you out there in Europe, in Europe, in Canada, in uh, Latin America, and the continent uh, USA, you are having a wonderful, a wonderful day out there. And of course, we had a wonderful weekend also. I want to, uh, I come to you with a very exciting program today. Unfortunately, unfortunately, our guest will not be here with me today. I shall be coming to that a little later, but uh, we have very, very important, exciting things to talk about today. Please go ahead and hit your share button, invite others, let them join the broadcast. It is going to be as exciting, as exciting as usual. Please go ahead, hit your share button, give me 700 people. And uh, the moment you do that, I come to you, I bring you the presentation proper. But uh, while you do that, let me see who is joining me here. Mirara Ofon, watching live from the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. That is awesome. Nick Mickey in Chechuma, watching. Titi, I see you say, please share. Uh, Steve Dove, yes, sir, I thought as well that he would not appear. <laughs> I'm coming to that. Uh, Felicia Info, I see you, ma'am. I also see the Ice Man, the Ice Man, the Ice Man. I see Ambazonia Stefan, always, always present. And Hope Ashu, Mo Manu, Billy Bones. Keep on hitting your share button, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost hitting 500 now. Ground Zero is waiting and watching and hoping that uh, you quickly hit your share button for me to bring you uh, very important uh, information. I was, shall be talking about I shall be talking about the 20th May lockdown, the 20th May lockdown, which began today. It began today on ground zero and i am very very happy with the news with the news that uh we are getting from ground zero 
Boya was dead. Uh, Bamenda was dead. I don't know about other cities and towns yet, but I believe today uh, in the phone calls we get from Ground Zero. I want to hear from Ground Zero. I want to take quite a number of phone calls from Ground Zero especially. So we're going to know, but so far the news is looking really, really good. Some have been wondering why we had to impose a shutdown in spite of the fact that French Cameroon cancelled 1st of May, May 1st, which, is, which was Labor Day, and May 20th, that's supposed to be the so-called National Day. I'm going to come to that. I shall also be talking about the war draft, the war draft, what lies ahead. And also very, very important, I shall be talking about a conclave. The National Ambazonia National Security Council held a conclave, a big conclave, ladies and gentlemen, over the, over the week. I'm not going to be bringing you details of that. Those are security issues, but I'll just bring you a little summary of what lies ahead coming out of that meeting. Then uh, I shall also be talking about I shall also be talking about uh, giving you some updates about Shufai Blaise, who was uh, moved from uh, Kondenge to the hospital, and uh, a few other things. And then your phone calls, your phone calls, God willing. So please uh, go ahead, hit your share button as you join. Uh, invite others to join the broadcast. I see Kumba LGA always, always present present on this platform and brown the eric of course always present here momo county yes we can that is for your own uh, draft i guess i see also tower five five thank you for joining the broadcast sir please go ahead hit your share button i see i see Devi daniel happy to see you secretary Thank you, thank you, uh, Danny. Amber Water now water. He says the evening is pregnant. The evening is pregnant. He says, "All right, wonderful. That is good to know the excitement in you." I see best man, best man. That is his name. Uh, glad Gladys. I see you, and there is my own sister there. All right, Tim Ben Kumban. Ku Kumbam, okay. In careful book, I see you, I see you. Mume Ndaga, okay. Eric, we come. Yes, Secretary Chris, we are. I miss, I miss the other part of it. Mo e jagam. Mo, now what is the meaning of Mo in Mayo? Does it mean chief? Does it mean, uh, what does it mean? Somebody let me know. I've seen people with those titles. Peter Mola. I see you, sir. I see you, sir. Hit your share button in less than a hundred people to go. Less than a hundred people to go. Hit your share button as you join. Remember, remember, we are on ABC, Amber, Amber Television, Amber owns voice. Let us get people on the platform. Wow, the numbers are jumping up like crazy. All right, please, if you are just joining, go ahead and hit that share button. If you are just joining, you go ahead and hit that share button. Caroline Mala, I see you, ma'am. Thanks for joining. Ingashu Vetzekov. Now, that is a Russian man in Kumbo with a, with a Russian name. Vetzekov. Sounds Russian, right? I always thought uh, the people from Kumbo came from, migrated from Russia. You find all the Vet, Vetzenyu and uh, Berenyu and Vetzekov. All right. Uh, Eliza Ajims, I see you too. John, John E. Ray, John E. Ray, I see you, sir. Um, I see Johnny, Justy, Operation Burn All Officers. What? I missed the other part of that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the broadcast again today. I I uh, want you to know the state of a revolution cannot be stronger. It cannot be stronger. The state of the revolution cannot be stronger. Before I take you into the real issues of the day, I just like to uh, take you to some update uh, coming in from uh, uh, 
but food and other parts of uh, Ambazonia, of course. Other parts of Ambazonia, of course. Uh, okay, in Kemlazana, watching live from K Town. God bless you, Sir Chris. All right, I just happened to fall on your on your post here on WhatsApp. All right, another one says. Good way, watching from Kumba too. Okay, greeting to you, sir. Wonderful. Thank you guys for joining from Kata. I'd like to know how Ghost Town shutdown look like today in Kumba. Put the photos out there, send a message to me. Let me know how uh shutdown look like in Kumba today. Uh let me let me get to this message uh, uh from Bafut. Uh, let me get to this message from uh, Bafut, which is coming from Bafut uh, LGA. Bafut LGA. Let me get that. All right, I got this uh, short message sent to me from uh, the Bafut LGA security team. It says, Ambazonians, yesterday, the 17th of May, yesterday, the 17th of May, La Republique du Cameroon terrorist soldiers, terrorist soldiers, entered by foot with six, six ammo cars and headed to Manqui, apparently to meet the Black Lake chief. Whoever is a black legged chief in Bafut, uh, I guess everybody in uh, Bafut knows who the chief is. But uh, it says six or more cars of French Cameroon terrorist soldiers were headed for Bafut yesterday, Sunday, the 17th of May, and were headed uh, towards the direction of this chief. When the first ammo car was hit by a port, when the first ammo car was hit by a port, they quickly made a U-turn and went back into Bermenda, went back into the city of Bermenda. In just about three hours, in other words, after about three hours, they turned back, they returned to Bafut and headed again towards Manqui, the same direction they had left previously. Their numbers were about doubled. Their numbers this time were doubled. When another port hit the first car, the first ammo car, I like this story. When the port hit the first ammo car in this second uh, barge, uh, they stopped there and went back for good. They stopped there and went back, never showed back up, at least for yesterday. The pools of blood at the scene is a clear indication of casualties. The pools of blood at the scene is a full indication of casualties. Numbers not available numbers of casualties not available at the moment that is what happened in Bafut yesterday and we learned that last night as they retreated from Bafut precisely at Intarekun shootings could be heard all over Intarekun and people had to go under their bed to avoid any stray bullets uh, hitting them. In the BLM, I think that was on the Thursday or so, we also learned that three trucks, three trucks loaded with, no, I think there were four, four trucks loaded with French Cameroon terrorist army were shattered, destroyed some caught fire at the release, at the trigger of Le Fancy. We also learned that there were lots of casualties at that scene. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is what is going on. In Kumbo, in Kumbo, I think was it yesterday or today, we warriors send French Cameroon terrorist soldiers, ladies and gentlemen, running for their lives after I think about 10 of them, about 10 of them were learned were killed by the Ambazonian Restoration Forces. This news is very, very important. These developments are very, very important, very, very critical, and we must put them into perspective. Because there are so many out there who are trying to convince Ambazonians that we are losing the war. We are losing the war. That the boys are no longer fighting. Please listen to me carefully. We are not losing the war. We will never lose the war. Never. We will never lose the war. Never. So, what happened in Bafut? What happened in Kumbo? What happened in Le BLM? We continue to repeat itself. It will continue to repeat itself. And Bazunian forces are now more than more prepared more than ever before more than ever before to face french cameroon i'm going to come back to this uh in the course of this uh, broadcast but before i get uh, to the uh to my uh, important items of the day i just want to remind you we got news of uh, comrade shufai in kondenge moved to the military hospital in Yaoundé for some symptoms, symptoms of coronavirus that uh, manifested upon him. He had been sick, we learned, for over a week and would not be taken to the hospital. I guess the guards and the medical doctors within that uh, Kondenge community did not take him seriously. They kept him in there and when he was taken out of Kondenge, he barely could stand on his own feet. He barely could stand on his own feet. So he was rushed to uh, the military hospital, we'll learn, in Yaoundé. And uh, according to information we gather coming from the family, he is responding. He is responding to treatment. However, he is still there at the intensive care in the military hospital in Yaoundé. We are hoping that Comrade Shufai will come out, uh, come out of that place completely healed and nothing bad, nothing bad would befall uh, his family. That is our hopes. And we send out this news to let the Republic of Cameroon know we are following out, we are following up every development, every development in Kondenge. We know who is sick there. We we'll know who has been abandoned there. We we'll know who is rejected there. We we'll know who is not being attended to there. We we'll know that hundreds of them, hundreds, are sick in there. But they have refused to take them to their military hospital. They think the boys are pretending. And they will not take them to the hospital. We are taking note and... The international community is also taking note. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know, we have sources, we have people, we have communities, we have leaders, international leaders, where we forward all this information that we bring to you. It doesn't end among us. We're not talking to ourselves. We'll make sure the information gets to uh, people and powers that matter. So we are following up every development in Kondenge. We are following up every development in Kondenge. We are well informed by the minute of everything that happened there. Of course, we have also learned of uh, a killing. Is it a killing or a killing? Martin, who was moved from Kondenge to set for whatever reason, we do not know. A killing Martin has been one of the detainees in set. Uh, we learned that uh, as of today, he was transferred from from Kondenge, from Kondenge uh, Maximum Security Prison to Set. Now we know the difference between Set and Kondenge. Set is essentially a torture center, a torture chamber. 
That is what said is. I'm telling you this because my own family has been there. My sister has been there. My mother has been there. Of course, Abdul Karim, who comes with whom we speak frequently, has been there. They tell us what goes on in set. They tell us what goes on in set. And for somebody to be transferred from Kondenge to set, it means that person is being transferred there to be tortured. And so we have learned that Ekelenge Martin was moved from Kondenge. He is one of us in, 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 in Kondenge who was picked up because of this conflict and uh, sent to uh, Kondenge. He is now moved to Set in the torture chamber in French Cameroon. We are taking note, we are following up, and we need the authorities in Set and in French Cameroon uh, at large to know we are very much aware of what is going on there. We urge you ladies and gentlemen out there to pray for Martin. Pray that he will not be killed. Pray that he will withstand every form of torture that uh, they release upon him, they unleash upon him in that uh, torture chamber called said. So we are following up on that also. Now let me take you to more substantive uh, issues now, as the lawyers would call it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, last week I came to you announcing a three-day, a three-day shutdown, a three-day shutdown of Ambazonia, beginning uh, May the 18th, which, uh, which is today through Wednesday the 20th, through Wednesday the 20th, am I right? Uh, today is 18, Wednesday is 19, uh, yeah, through Wednesday, the 20th. We are shut, now some people have asked, why did we have to do a shutdown, a lockdown, when we know that French Cameroon has already called off Labor Day celebrations of uh, May 1st and uh, 20th May of, uh, of, of course, 20th May. Uh, this is the reason. We are dealing with a fox. French Cameroon authorities are foxes. They never tell you. They, they never. They never tell you their real intentions. They never release their real intentions. When they announce, for example, that they are calling off 20th May, they are calling off uh, uh, 1st of May Labor Day celebrations because of a corona. It didn't take two days, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't take two days. They organized a big rally in the city of Bamenda protesting against ghost towns and the war. It didn't take two days. You saw the numbers of Okada, Okada guys. You saw the number of soldiers and people borrowed, borrowed from Bunda to come down to the Commercial Avenue to stage a protest against ghost town. You saw it yet, yet. They were busy also announcing the Labor Day celebrations have been canceled, 20th May celebrations have been canceled because of the coronavirus. So, if we took them seriously for that announcement, how can we then go ahead to also take them seriously when we see them organizing organizing a mammoth rally only days only days after that announcement the reason why we decided to shut down ladies and gentlemen our territory all of ambazonia is because is because we know what french cameroon is able to do on 20th may they will bring back the okada guys they will bring back uh, their army to dress in the, uh, in civil they will borrow men and women from Mbunda and from Douala and from Loom to descend on the northern zone and the southern zone to conduct a march pass, a march pass with fake placards showing ENS Bambili, showing Cas Bambili, showing GBHS Bamenda, showing Government Balengwa High School Boya, showing Sase, all those things. And they will say, these were and um, oh, these are Ambazonians. These are Ambazonians uh, celebrating 20th May. We did not want when I say we, 
I mean, all of us here are the interim government. The interim government, we did not want to take anything, anything for granted. And that is why we are shutting down uh, Ambazonia, in spite of that announcement from French Cameroon. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason for this shutdown. This shutdown means you stay home. Yes, you stay home. Just make sure that you have enough food at home. It's not a, it's not a long one today. It's a regular ghost town day. It, the shutdown continues tomorrow, Tuesday, and continues on Wednesday, which is the final day, being Wednesday. So on Thursday, you go out and you continue with your business. I have said it again and again and again, ladies and gentlemen, that these moments we keep on coming where we would have to call upon you to sacrifice to sacrifice for this revolution in this way and uh, this is not the last one this cannot be the last one as la republic du cameroon would continue to do everything to do everything to make sure that they break our backs and bring this struggle to an end with victory on their side but i can assure you we here we are resolved we here we are determined we here we are standing strong and standing tall to every effort that french cameroon wants to implement to sculpt this revolution we will not allow that to happen you can uh take that to the bank we will not allow that to happen and by the way let me tell, speak to you a little bit about 20th May. What is 20th May? They call it the day of unity, the celebration of unity. Who says that we have ever been united with French Cameroon? Not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lived a lie for 60 years. 60 years we lived a lie with French Cameroon. Paul Beer said it himself. In France, he said all their efforts were to assimilate us. All, all of their efforts since their so-called independence were to assimilate us. That is why from the Federal Republic of Cameroon, they moved to uh, 1972, 20th May, so-called 1972, they moved to United Republic of Cameroon. How do you unite? How do you say you are united with no with no articles of uh, of, of, of with, no, with no articles to sh to prove that unity? Nothing has been there for the past sixty years to prove that there was ever a united Cameroon in paper and indeed nothing nothing has existed like that. And so suddenly we have come to the realization that. We cannot continue to be slaves of French Cameroon forever. We were a country of our own. They were a country of their own. We had our boundaries and we still have our boundaries. We had our assembly. We had our house of chiefs. We had our prime minister. They had theirs also. So, when they now say they are celebrating a united Cameroon, a united Cameroon. What happened to our House of Chiefs, our National Assembly, our police force, our own government in Boya? What happened to it? The only thing that we could celebrate was a federal Cameroon, if indeed it existed. That one too did not exist because nothing bound us together. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying this to you to say 20th May is dead and buried in the uh, Ambazonia. It is never coming back. It will never come back. We are gone. We are gone. And we are gone for good. So we are urging you, everyone out there to please stay indoors. Stay indoors. Observe. 20th May shutdown. Observe 20th May shutdown until Wednesday. Wednesday will be the last day. Thursday, 
You go out for regular business. And the war continues. Now, coming back to the subject of uh, Amber War Drive. Amber War Drive. We had a wonderful drive yesterday with Ngoke Tunja County with over $85,000. $85,000 raised within two hours within two hours the people of Ngo Ketunja raised over $85,000 to support the war, to sponsor the war in their own county. Now many people say the war is dead. We hope that these funds being raised are sending a message to French Cameroon. Ambazonians, if there is any message, the message is that Ambazonians, Ambazonians are ready. Now remember, this war draft we are doing is only for this year. Which means by this time next year, if French Cameroon fails to come to the table and there is no ceasefire, there will be another war draft. There will be another war drive. And the message this should send to French Cameroon is that Ambazonians are resolved and determined if this war would have to go on for the next 40 years, we will draft. Ambazonians will draft for the next 40 years until we get a free and independent Federal Republic of Ambazonia until our flag is permanently hosted in Boya. So that is a message that we are sending that Ambazonians in Goke, Tunja people, Manu people, uh, Bui people are sending, are sending to French Cameroon that we will not get tired. We will not get tired every dime that is needed for the execution of this war, Ambazonians will provide it. And let me speak to you some Ambazonians who are thinking that this war is getting over with all these, uh, uh, I don't even want to call them defectors because I doubt whether they ever belonged in the first place. All these guys who are running away to La Republic to come around and then running back and uh, uh, calling themselves peacemakers. I don't know whether they ever belong in the first place. These were guys who came into this revolution just to make money. They came into the revolution to get rich. They thought the revolution would be over soon. Maybe they will get some titles. They will get some positions. Or maybe they will get some contracts. Maybe they will uh, uh, get rich very, very quickly. It hasn't happened. And we see them, we see them changing sides. They now call, some, some now call themselves peace ambassadors. Peace ambassadors. Ladies and gentlemen, they are rooks. They are rooks. I don't, for, I don't for one thing they have ever been part of us. They were in here with an agenda. The agenda has now been discovered. And they are, they have been discovered too. You know, let me put it this way too. There is a sieve string, ladies and gentlemen. There is a sieve string, a sieve string that is going on. Not every leader, not every leader that uh, you find out here will take Ambazonia to Boya. No, it will never happen that way. Only the resilient and only the serious ones, those who have this country, and Bazonia are hard. We persevere to the end. And those are the people we we'll call leaders. Because listen, I hear some people tell me, do you know how long I have been in this struggle? Do you know how long we started? Do you know when we were at AAC1, where were you? When we sponsored the United Nations, where were you? When we did this and did that, where were you? They call you JJ, just come, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you. It is not where you started 
that matters. It is not how you started that matters. It is not even where you are today that matters. It is where you end and how you end it. Yes, it is where you end and how you end it. That is the message. And so, we want Ambazonians to know. We want Ambazonians to know. Not every leader, not every leader will take you to Boya. Not everyone who calls himself a leader will take you to Boya. What matters is who gets to Boya, who takes you to Boya, not who is fighting. Don't even uh, look at me as, no, until we get to Boya, that's what I mean. Look at everybody with suspicion as a sellout, as a sellout until that person gets you to, to Boya. Because we're now begin to, beginning to realize people we thought were with us, people we thought were with us, and now dining on the same side of the table with French Cameroon and begging for apology, flashing cars and flashing new dresses and talking the language you never would expect from them. But I can assure you, if it means the minority of Ambazonians, if it means the minority of Ambazonians, that minority will take you will take you to boya and in this struggle we realize that only the my that minority is putting out that money but they are putting out the money go ketunja did an awesome job yesterday manfe did an all i mean man you did an awesome job we did an awesome job we have coupe maninguba coming up this weekend and ladies and gentlemen, we're inviting you to support Kope Manengubai. In fact, this is very, very important. What we have learned, we have learned that French Cameroon, French Cameroon administration is, has put guns into the hands of some chiefs in Kope Manenguba. And they are handing those guns into the hands of some youths in that community to use in going after our legitimate Ambazonia restoration forces. We want to send a message to every chief in Kupe Maneguba who will not, who will not fraternize with the boys on the ground who are putting their own lives on the line to defend that, that, that county. You stand with French Cameroon. If you are found to be on the side of French Cameroon, if you are found to be on the side of French Cameroon, talk less of taking ammunition, guns from French Cameroon to use in killing your people. In fact, we learned that some restoration forces were picked up and their hands chopped up by some chiefs in Kupe Maniguba. I can assure those chiefs, we know them. We know their abouts. They will come. The same boys you attempted to kill, they will come after you and your life will be very, very miserable in Kope Manenguba. So ladies and gentlemen, Kope Manenguba is coming up. It is one of those counties that really don't have the support that others have. And I want to specially appeal to you, come out at the weekend. I think that will be Sunday. Come out at the weekend. Let's stand with Kope Manenguba. Let's support those boys who are making the lives of French Cameroon soldiers in Kupe Manenguba very, very miserable. So that will be Sunday. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the war draft goes on. The war draft goes on. Again, the message French Cameroon should know is we have not started the war yet, and that takes me. And that takes me to my main subject for the day. That takes me to the main subject for the day. The interim government and the state of the struggle. The interim government and the state. The state of the struggle. Last week, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Federal Republic, Dr. Samuel Ekome Sako, held a very, very important meeting, security meeting with the National, with Ambazonia National Security Council. The goal of that meeting was to assess the progress, the activities, 
of the NSC on ground zero. They can give health for the whole for the whole day, for the whole day, the entire day. It was meant only for the security chiefs of Ambazonia. And rising from that meeting, rising from that meeting, all the now it is important you know that the national security chiefs of Ambazonia, they are all represent, representatives of all, of all the counties and the LGS in Ambazonia. All the 13 counties, all the 13 counties and the LGS represented. And so they had a day long, a day long meeting with the president to discuss the way forward. They came out with some resolutions. I cannot read them to you. I cannot bring them to you because those are classified issues. But if they came out with any message, the message is what you find on your screen. The message is what you find on your screen. Re-war, re-war is only about to begin. You will recall that it was French Cameroon who waged war against us. We did not wage war against French Cameroon. We have been defending ourselves all this while. But going forward, going forward, we will not only defend ourselves, we will go after French Cameroon interests very, very viciously. And I mean very, very viciously. We are aware, we are aware that French Cameroon has been cutting out some offensive all over our territory. And they see some of our towns and cities and counties have been a little bit quiet, too quiet for our liking. But ladies and gentlemen, as I come to you, I can assure you, I can assure you, things will never be the same again. The Ambazonian National Security Council met at the weekend and they are, they are resolved, they are resolved on taking the world to another level. The war is only about to begin. In the coming days or weeks or, and months, you will see a change in the atmosphere, a change in the way the war is prosecuted. And by this, I am advising Ambazonians, Ambazonians who are still fighting for French Cameroon, Ambazonian soldiers who are still fighting for French Cameroon. Sirs, you are fighting, you are fighting an unwinnable battle. You are fighting an unwinnable war. We are appealing to you, lay down your arms. Lay down your arms. Do not die for nothing. Do not die fighting for somebody's own country. Lay down your arms. Look for a way be brave and behave like some of your friends who have already deserted the French Cameroon army. You don't want to die for nothing. Die fighting for some old people sitting in Yaoundé. If you love your life and if you're a family person and your son, your daughter, your brother, your uncle is fighting in the French Cameroon army, Listen to my appeal to you today. Ask your brothers, ask your uncles, ask your cousins, your nephews who are fighting, still fighting, Ambazonians still fighting in the French Cameroon army, ask them to leave. Ask them to desert. This phase of the war is going to be brutal. Yes very very brutal you heard me right this phase of the war is going to be very very brutal and for those of you black legs out there on ground zero we encourage you to give up to give up on that because it will be no mercy no mercy for any black leg that is caught out there 
betraying our Ambazonian Restoration Forces or betraying any one of the proponents of Ambazonian independence. Any black leg that is caught, any black leg caught out there will pay for his deeds. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this war is only about to start. I can promise you, look at me eyeball to eyeball, I can promise you Ambazonia is now about declaring war on French Cameroon. French Cameroon has thought all along they are going to beat us, kill us all, dismiss our cities and our towns and villages and then we will run kneeling on their feet and begging them and begging them to forgive us. We have promised them that if it means 40 years, if it means 40 years, we will prosecute this war for those 40 years. But French Cameroon can call it short. Yes, they can make it shorter by calling for a truce, calling for a ceasefire, and getting on the negotiation table. Should they do that, we will listen to them. Maybe call for a break while we sit on the table. But until that happens, until that happens, we are not, we are not, ladies and gentlemen, going to lay down a single arm. We are not going to lay down a single arm. We can only increase. We can only increase our arms. And talking about uh Unity and collaboration as I found one of these uh, so-called Rook generals making an appeal out there uh, the other day. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not very foolish, very stupid to hear a Rook go out there call for unity or call for collaboration and we say, yeah, yeah, finally they are listening. They are not listening. They are not repentant. Not at all. They are never, they, they've never been remorseful any call for collaboration for unity should come from the leadership of every organization that is what it is if cho ayaba wants collaboration he shouldn't go through his uh, his uh, rook fighter on the ground it should start from him he is called cic commander in chief what does that mean it means he commands everything in that organization. So we will not sit here and uh, uh, listen to the words of a rook soldier, a rapist, a murderer on the ground telling people to come and collaborate with him. We are still looking for that young man. I sent this message to him. We are still looking for him. The people killed in Guzang must be accounted for. The, uh, the soldier he buried live in Guzang must be accounted for. The people killed, the people killed in Kugwe must be accounted for. The people killed in Bui must be accounted for. On, until these things are accounted for, that young man will remain the most wanted, the most wanted rook soldier out there. That's the message we want him to know, that we are, uh, we are still looking for him. Uh, forget about your apology if, if, if it was one. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the state of the revolution. I am sorry I could not bring you uh, uh, Diodoni Esomba today. Uh, we we'll try reaching him, we we'll call him, and it appears that something was going on uh, in his house. He said you couldn't talk, uh, we could hear a lot. Something was going on there. So I guess it was an emergency and he couldn't make it. But uh, we're going to get back to him. We'll have that interview uh, one of these days. I will be coming to you a number of times during the week because there is so much to talk about. For now, I will open the phone lines. I will open the phone lines for those of you on Ground Zero to call. Let me know what is going on with, uh, with uh, the shutdown. One thing I forgot to mention, ladies and gentlemen, is this is also the period of 
economic sabotage economic sabotage economic sabotage everybody on ground zero must become a soldier everybody must become a soldier every institution of French Cameroon must be targeted which means whatever you can do to push this revolution to push this struggle to the next level to the level to the level where a lot of people to come along comes and bow to the negotiation table you have to engage in it we don't want to see timber going to Douala and you don't have to take the Ambazonian restoration forces for timber to be stopped as an individual you can do something all those uh, tankers carrying gasoline to Douala from Victoria that too must come to an end we have stifled the CDC we have stifled the Sonora and these other corporations must be completely brought down they must be completely brought down every economic activity brasseries is still a big target ladies and gentlemen every french cameroonian business whether owned by the state owned by their uh, 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 supporters must be brought down we must deprive them of every dime that goes to pay them to keep on sponsoring this war killing our people by the day all right so ladies and gentlemen the phone lines are open go ahead and uh, call the phone lines are, are, are open i will take your call especially those of you uh on ground zero go ahead and hit yours go ahead and uh call unfortunately i don't know whether i have the phone number uh on the screen but lots of you out there have the phone number let me see who is calling uh here hello 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 all right so that color is gone so ladies and gentlemen let me get uh, the first caller here hello Good evening, sir. May I know where you're calling from, please? Yeah, this is Mr. Ennis calling from Finland. Thank you for calling, sir. What is your contribution? Okay, I just wish to know, uh, why is it that uh, I've not been seeing your assistant, uh, Kuku Blings, uh, really active in this struggle? It's like you are working so much. Uh, I don't think uh, concerning her position is not something that uh, he, he, she has to be working from behind. She has to come. She has to come as well, organize other things, other uh, uh, as you are doing, because you are overworking yourself. She well, has to come if she is not capable of doing it. They should put someone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the concerns. Uh, you know those are administrative things that cannot be discussed live right okay but uh, your your concerns uh, uh, are gotten and uh, of course the uh, the right people are listening to you thanks for the call all right uh, let me get the next caller Hello, sir, Mr. Uh, Ucheva. Uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, Secretary Chris. Uh, this is Ucheva Nelson calling from uh, Los Angeles. I want to extend my sincere greetings to everybody on Ground Zero. I just have one thing here to let everybody on Ground Zero to understand. I am so upset with the fact that people have we've been marching the whole world looking for somebody to help us and we found Switzerland 
and we believe in Switzerland. If you do not believe in the Swiss talks, please, can you stop criticizing it? Go forward and look for which, wherever you want to believe in and bring it forward to the Amazonian people. Those who endorse La Republic special, uh, National Dialogue for a special status, they don't need to lecture us on the Swiss talks. Can in it we love it and we want to go to switzerland why is probably refusing to come to switzerland because he understands that the outcome is going to be negative on his part so can these people stop this thing you don't believe in swiss talks go and look for wherever you believe you go to russia you go to where to china to go to wherever you believe in the swiss talk come to the Swiss talk, the act team is there, and we are supporting them. And those who also believe that, I mean, they think that we are giving money for the draft. Grand Zero has drafted herself for more than four years through lockdown, ghost town, and everything. We are drafting ourselves now, $1,000 each, and we're going to continue like that. Do not come here and tell us not to give money to the internal government. We have a list of 23 things that internal government has achieved that are giving us accountability and whatsoever. So nobody should force me to give my money to a specific bank. If you are not giving accountability, you are not doing anything. You All are right. Not accountable yeah. to uh, 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 hold on. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, that's a that's a very important point you raised there about people giving their giving their uh, giving money to some uh, so-called bank or so so-called different organization. Bo Hebert made a very very good point here. I think about a week ago talking about accountability. We have about ten or more than ten different organizations that are said to be fighting uh, in this struggle of all those organizations, only the interim government has subjected itself to an audit. Only the interim government is explaining to Ambazonians how the money they receive, they collect, is being used. So I don't understand. When anybody, any Ambazonian who really wants us to believe they are fighting for this war would go out and put money into holes, holes in which they never get accountability. And these same organizations are the ones causing all the confusion, all the kidnapping, all the ransom takings that we see going on on ground zero. How can Ambazonians be this stupid? Pardon me, but it's, that's exactly what the people contributing to those organizations are doing. So thank you for raising that point, uh, uh, UN. Uh, as far as the Swiss talk, as, as far as the Swiss initiative is concerned, uh, last week, was it last week, I had a peak issues with uh, Dr. Christopher Formunio of the National Democratic Institute over a tweet that you put out there. Mr. Uh, I mean, Dr. Fomonu was essentially uh, picking issues with the Swiss for a phone call that the president of the Swiss Federation put, with Paul, put to Paul Beer. If that wasn't enough pressure for the president of the Swiss Federation to pick the phone and call Paul Beer to say, we are still waiting for you to come to table. If that wasn't enough pressure, I don't know what it was. Yet, people like Dr. Chris Formanu, instead of appreciating what the French, uh, pr the Swiss president was doing, pick issues with the, with, with, with the Swiss as though the Swiss have both the knife and the yam. Instead of putting, of putting pressure on Mr. Beer, using his office, the National Democratic Institute that has a lot of influence on the leadership in Africa. No, they are not doing that. They are instead telling the Swiss that, oh, you know what? You are, <clears throat> they are instead telling the Swiss that your inability to force beer to table is uh, 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 hindering, us, hindering us other chances in America. Dr. Chris Formanu has not told anybody what chances that we have in this struggle in America. What we know the Americans are suggesting through the Senate and through the Congress is a federal one Cameroon. That's why you see Cohen all over the place. Cohen, Ambassador Cohen all over the place. No, Dr. Chris, 
We are not looking for an American solution that gives us one, con one Cameroon, a federal Cameroon of 10 states or 20 states. That is not what we are looking for. We want you to use your position as the African director for the National Democratic Institute to lobby all the powers or the leaders we have in Africa to put pressure on Mr. Beer to go to the negotiation table not picking issues with the Swiss who are doing their best to bring beer to table. You can join them, sir, to do exactly what they are trying to do. That was my point. All right, I took the next caller. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the lines are open. Go ahead and uh, make your phone calls. I see lots of you have called, and uh, I missed the call. All right. Okay, let me get this caller. I need to call from Ground Zero, please. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hi, Mr. Chris. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, sir. May I know where you're calling from, please? Well, I'm calling from Ground Two. I'm calling from Gabon, but I cannot give my ID card. No, I'm not asking for your ID. I'm just asking where you're calling from. So, what's your contribution, sir? Yeah, I'm just want to ask a question. For this draft, is it composing that we have to pay, everybody have to pay the $1,000 or you pay from what you have? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we encourage everybody to try to make it to 1000 That will help a lot. However, if you cannot afford 1000 uh, whatever you can afford will be appreciated. And remember, when you are, when you uh, draft for a thousand, you don't have to pay it uh, uh, at the instant. You can pay it in installments until it is exhausted. Okay, but we in Africa, you know, we don't have that your pay back. So if we are pay, yes. Yes, uh, what is your county, sir? I'm calling from Gabon. No, your county, your county, your, your, your county in Nambazonia. Okay, so you would have to, con you would have to contact uh, the leadership of the BLM county and uh, they will give you directives on how to, on how to pay. All right, thanks for the call. Okay. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon, Mr. Chris. Good afternoon, sir. May I know where you're calling from, please? Yeah, this is uh, Fidelis calling from DC. Okay, what is your contribution, sir? Yeah, I just want to to make, to make something clear. You know, I have listened to people who were against the Swiss talk after the tweet of uh, the president of the Swiss Confederation. They started saying that if the Swiss is uh, ready to negotiate, they should tell Bia to release this, to do this, to do this. Let me say something. A mediator is a neutral person. And only the political will of the two parties can bring them to table. And apart from that, the only thing that can follow can be a sanction by the international community, community to sanction any party that is a signatory to their, uh, like La Republic, who is a signatory to most of these international uh, communities. So the Swiss don't have a right to go pursuing uh, this party or this party to come to table. No, the political will of the two parties, and if they discover that it is not going, 
then the international community now will sanction either uh, either of the, the party who is refusing to come to the table is not the place of the Swiss. So when I see people saying these things, uh, it's just it's just that they don't know what they are doing. The Swiss is just like a, a, a mediator and it is a neutral person. Well, well, you see that that, mm -hmm. that 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 is a problem with our intellectuals. All these people in the doctors, professors, suits. You think that they have some common sense? No, they don't. No. They know the right thing, but they just would not do the right thing. Yeah. Instead of joining the Swiss to uh, add to the pressure the Swiss are already putting on the regime, they are saying, oh, the Swiss should do this, do that. They said they are the one now helping the Republic to stay away from the, 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 the negotiation table. They are the ones helping the Republic because the Republic now will be telling them that no, they are divided, they are not they are not together, so we cannot come to the table. They are the people helping the Republic. How do they expect Swiss, who is a neutral mediator, to go and be asking this uh, La Republic to come to the table? They have they can put a pressure, but it is not their full right to bring La Republic to the table. It is the All right. Thank you, thank you. Now. Thank you for the call. i uh, got to be running up soon. Let me uh, get a few more callers. Okay. I want to get a call from Ground Zero. I hope they have electricity. I have not received a single call from Ground Zero today. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, please. You are live. Uh, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Germany. And what is your contribution, sir? Um, so I just wanted to make a, um, a contribution regarding uh, the Swiss talk, just clearing a little bit the space. Um, oh. <clears throat> most people, especially we the Africans, we don't understand the role that Switzerland plays in global economy and security. The Swiss as a country in itself, not only through its financial power, is kind of a united nation in itself. So you would rather want to have a negotiation backed by the Swiss than you have a negotiation backed by France or England. Reason being that the Swiss are the only country who are able, if you table your demands, for example, like Ambazonia might go to the table and say, we want this. The Swiss is capable of bringing people to the table, the US, France, England, and say, hey, this is the voice, this is what these guys have said, take that in consideration. But if you have somebody like France go, France will be going there with the biased mind. So people need to understand the role that Switzerland plays, not only with respect to our revolution, but its position in the world. No nation in the world can attack Switzerland by itself, not because they have the strongest army, it's just because of his vital position in the world. So when people come online and start talking about, hey, you know, Switzerland, it's, um, we don't want to go to the Swiss talk, we're favoring this, it's because historically, they don't understand the role Switzerland plays in the balance of power in the world. Absolutely. And I, would, I would pledge most Ambazonians, if you're listening, take your time, go online and read the history of Switzerland and why Switzerland is in the position it is in the world today. And if you get that understanding, that background, you will understand why it is our best chance. Not our best chance because Switzerland is a friend to Ambazonia, no. It's because if they come to the table, they are capable of tabling our demands for us, rather than having a UK or a France, because if the UK connects with France tomorrow and say they want to broker some kind of discussion with our republic this might be bad news for us because we don't we don't be throw the, we don't throw the uk we don't throw the french uh and that's not to say we trust any other country because every one of this country has a diplomatic relationship with french cameroon exactly 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 you're absolutely right with that and that's the reason why switzerland is our best chance and we have to really appreciate the fact that they are taking this initiative because it could be at some point they say okay we are no colony to cameroon we would not even get into the mix of trying to broker any type of discussion between these two parties so it is for us and for people who haven't fallen behind it take your time read your history and then re-evaluate your position it is for our benefit 
So I, this is just my contribution that I wanted to, to all make. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the call, sir. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I get one more caller and we'll call it a day. I shall be coming back to you tomorrow, 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Amber, I'll let you know. Let me take the, the last caller from uh, London. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, I just want to thank you for the marvelous job. I know you are not tired. You are always strong and going. Uh, uh, thank yes, you. Sir, Where are you calling uh, from? I'm calling from the UK. Okay. All right. Go ahead, sir. Mm. My name is King Peking. Yes. All right. um, I just want to thank you once again that you are doing just the right thing that you're, you are doing. And... You talk about the, the, the award, Ambazonian World Draft. I just want to let Ambazonians know that this is the best thing to do. Get to your county and get yourself drafted. Because be counted among us, it's just like when they, when they, they were doing the tax collecting in, in the days of the, the, the Israelites doing the tax, doing the tax, doing the biblical tax collection. Joseph was carrying Mary to go and taxes in his do and 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 pay the taxes in his country in his country in own in his own region. So do the same thing, carry your own tax and go and pay it in your region and be counted. Absolutely. But if you don't do this, our boys and girls will not be able to support and sustain and, and protect our people. So do the right thing and we will and we'll get to Boya very soon. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the call. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we will call it a day today. I look forward to coming back with you tomorrow with some uh, interesting guests. I shall be coming to you this week, uh, possibly for the next three days. I uh, shall be live with you for there's a lot to talk about, there is a lot to discuss, and uh, I hope uh, I'll be able to do so. Uh, sorry once more, Dio Doné is somebody could not come on. I will get back to him. I know something happened. Uh, I, he will come back. So please uh, stay tuned, stay glued to ABC, and uh, I will be back with you. You need a financial instrument that provides a hedge against inflation? 100% guarantees that you will not lose your money? Has tax-free growth and distribution? The ability to take an interest-free loan? A voice probate? Provides creditor protection?